When you post on your Facebook feed are more than just your friends watching. Hello everyone, welcome to your Thursday lunch break. I'm Tanya Rivero. As recently as a few days ago, very few of Facebook's 1.3 billion users knew much about the social network's data science team. But that all changed when the psychological study conducted on nearly 700,000 users without their knowledge came to light. WSJ reporter Reed Albergati is on today's page one with an inside look at how the data science team works and he joins us now from San Francisco. Hi Reed, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. So Reed, what kinds of experiments does this team run? Well really the main focus of data scientists at Facebook is testing new products. So they'll put different products in front of different users and see how they react. But they also have a more core group of data science that often, um, often works on studies that are meant for academic journals. See, Facebook is actually the largest pool of social research data available to academics. And Facebook you know, often wants to share that with universities. And that's what happened in this case. They were working with uh, researchers at Cornell. And um, this study was actually published. And you know, Facebook didn't expect this sort of backlash. So all of the researchers that conducted that study were academics then? They weren't connected, per se, to Facebook? No, there were also Facebook data scientists involved in the study. They were working with uh, two other researchers at uh, Cornell at the time when they were conducting this. And, you know, it, what, what's interesting about the data science team is, you know, they've been publishing really fascinating articles for years since they were founded in 2007. But most of those have kind of gone unnoticed by the general public. And I don't think Facebook users really realized or thought of it in this way that they were being used as research subjects. And what this, this has really done is shed light on this practice. And now, you know, we're expecting to see kind of an open debate in the coming months um, and, and possibly some changes in the policies and, and the way it works. Well, yeah, absolutely. Since a few days ago, people got so upset because they were not notified. But you're saying that these studies have been going on for years and no one's been notified. So this is the first one that sort of caused a ruckus on this level. Right. And in fact, you know, the, the, the research subjects here, the almost 700,000 people, you know, they still don't know. And in fact, one of the unanswered questions here is, you know, could they be even notified in some way? Because the research, the data was actually anonymized. Um, so it, it's unclear whether Facebook could even find out who they are um, or where they were. We just know it was English speaking uh, people on Facebook. And it, it also may have included minors. Um, that's another big question. So the, the real outrage here, though, is, is the fact that Facebook was potentially manipulating those people and, and maybe even in intentionally making them a little bit sadder than they normally would have been because they were withholding positive newsfeed posts from some of those users. So that's what really what people really reacted to. Well, what has Facebook said recently in response to all this negative attention? Are specific changes coming that you know of either to the team or via notification to users? Well, yesterday, Sheryl Sandberg was in India, and she gave a press conference, and a Wall Street Journal reporter asked her about this, and she said she was sorry that the, of the way that this study was communicated. So, in other words, you know, she doesn't think there's, it's unclear whether she thinks there's anything wrong with the study, but it used these sort of, these words like, you know, manipulate, and, and they were sort of inflammatory, and I think there's a regret there about the way the study was, was portrayed, but Facebook's spokes, a spokesman actually told me that it's likely there will be some, some serious changes to the way the data science team operates, potentially having to do with some kind of review process that each study has to go through. Now, there is one now, but that may be further formalized. All right, thank you so much for that, Reed. We'll have to wait and see what kind of changes take place. Thanks for that. Thanks for having me.